everyone. Immunotoxins are extremely promising in treating malignancies and are derived from monoclonal antibodies by simply attaching a potent toxin to the FC portion or constant portion of the same. Such preparations are extremely useful in immunotherapy in targeting defective cells such as cancerous cells in vivo or within a living system. Accordingly, the FAB portion or antigen binding portion of the antibody is designed to specifically and exclusively bind to just the tumor antigens so that normal cells can't become a target of these immunotoxins. And it's just the cancer cells which are killed by virtue of the toxin coupled to the cancer cell specific antibody. The immunotoxin independently seeks out and binds to the tumor cell antigens, thereby placing the potent toxin in close vicinity of the tumor cell, resulting in effective killing of the same. The toxins most suitable for this purpose are typically the inhibitors of critical intracellular processes such as ricin isolated from castor oil seed whose single molecule is more than enough to kill a complete living cell. Likewise, radionuclide coupled and tumor specific monoclonal antibodies bring about killing by DNA damage from the decay of the radioisotope thereby releasing high energy particles. The drawback of this approach is the inevitable collateral damage of some nearby normal cells too, but at the same time offers a great advantage of prompt lethal action on the neighboring newly developing cancer cells also, which haven't even developed their tumor antigens as yet. Now, let's move on to heteroconjugates. Constructed in vitro, these are bispecific antibodies made by bilaterally cleaving two different monoclonal antibodies and coupling the two halves from these distinct antibodies to compose a heteroconjugate. The idea behind such innovation was to create different specificities of the two ABS or antigen binding sites within a single antibody which is impossible to happen in a natural antibody. This would empower it to bind to two different moieties via its two distinct ABS. Let's say one to the tumor antigen and the other to a toxin. This brings the toxin in close contact with the tumor cell hence killing it, just like in case of the immunotoxin. However, here the additional advantage is that still the FC portion is free and unoccupied, hence available for any necessary biological function of the antibody. For example, targeted phagocytosis involving antibodies or ADCC, that is, antibody dependent cell mediated cytotoxicity. There may be many other uses of such unique bispecific antibodies called the heteroconjugates. Do write in the comment box if you can think of any. So, I'd like to express my wholehearted gratitude to my awesome student Mr. Bramjit Dahia for the meaningful pictorial editing of these videos so as to create interest in such contemporary topics and impart complete benefit to all who are watching. We both are grateful to our keen to learn as well as supportive audience. We shall be back soon with more. Till then, take care, happy studying and bye.